Now, uh, to what extent is your town still a threat to young women? In the Who sense that you? it's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. Don't touch the camera. I'm not. All right, that's good. You're very close. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Egohanashimasu Egohanashimasen. what we actually said to them, it'd be a, a leak or infiltration in New London's profit. So I would like to see those meetings put back. Is it right to work for the town of New London, considering what a, a threat it became to young women? She's, I guess, a town recorder, so you know, not a super high position. Now, uh, to what extent is your town still a threat to young women in the Who sense that you? it's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. Don't touch the camera. I'm not. All right, that's good. You're very close. Now, to what extent is the the, the, the old chief still getting a government funding? Is he getting anything at all? or? Thanks for not running me over. Now, to what extent is your government still a threat to young women in the sense that it still commits victimless crime arrests? Our government? You mean the town? Yeah. We have it under control. Well, do you still arrest young women for victimless offenses like underage drinking? I think you should pose the question to law enforcement. Well, I mean, you're above law enforcement, aren't you? You're ult the ultimate responsibility lies with the... you guys, doesn't it? Who are you with? It's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. And who are you? And what's RidleyReport.com? It's a poor man's TV station, New Hampshire's number two YouTube channel. Okay. But you politicians are supposed to be above the police, though, aren't you? What? Said. Are you afraid of the police? You I'm don't not. have control, or? I'm not. Thank you. No comment. What's your name? So, like, to what extent are your police still a threat to young women in the sense that they commit victimless crime arrests? What a foolish question. How so? I, think there was I mean, wouldn't you consider yourself threatened if someone arrested you for a victimless crime? Wouldn't it be yeah, dangerous? What, 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 what is, what's your point? What's my point? Yeah, I mean, I don't consider our police threatening anybody. Well, obviously they did in the past here. Uh, I'm, you know, even if they're following the law now, making a, a victimless crime arrest is hurting somebody that hasn't hurt anybody else, and your, your police do that, don't they? Well, that's, no, I don't think that. We have one, one incident, okay? If people want to hop in that incident forever, go to it. But, you know. but isn't an arrest for underage drinking an incident that should be a source of concern, since an underage drinker hasn't necessarily hurt anyone? I guess... I'd be a little concerned if our police didn't enforce the laws of the state and the town. You sure you want to ask for that? Because there are 200,000 pages of laws and you're going to break one on the way home. I am? Almost certainly. Well, I'm not going to get involved in it. Be in contest with you. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to, what point you're trying to make. Well, I may be asking questions you've never been asked before, well, but I've that's asked, the whole point. <laughs> I've been selected for this. It's not my first rodeo, so. I appreciate you at least answering them. It, you know, who, who are you? It's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. It's a poor man's TV station. A poor man's yeah. TV station. Okay. I don't have a lot of use for the press. Every time I talk to the press, they tell me what I said, and it's usually 100% wrong. So I'm going to be very reluctant to say too much because I could say good morning, and they're going to say, well, you know, the tone of his voice, he really meant bad morning. So I don't get involved in <laughs> some of that stuff. But well, with any luck, maybe you'll like my report better than the right. average, because I just put everything I get on the air, so. <laughs> unless it's really boring. Well, I think you're, I think you're beating a dead horse, but that's your, your free country? I think of it more like a, a dead elephant in the room. Well, <laughs> so. That's your opinion. All right, that and what's your name? Peter B. Okay, thanks, sir. Take care. Do you have a message for the Ron Paul movement?
Do you have a product for the New Hampshire Liberty community? Then stop keeping it a secret. Head, head, on over to RidleyReport.com. Email Ridley and purchase an ad. There is no humiliation nor privation Ridley will not endure to ensure your message gets out. Ridleyreport.com